Hi Professor Vishal Taylor, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I teach you the specific speed of a centrifugal pump. So I teach you the basic introduction of specific speed and derive this equation of the specific speed ns is equal to n under root of q divided by h raised to 3 by 4 and also teach you the significance of the specific speed. So first we start with this definition of specific speed. Specific speed of a pump is defined as the speed of geometrically similar pump. Geometrically similar means pump have a same shape, but it have a different size. So one pump is like as the small pump that is pick up in our hands and the one pump is like our room. Okay, that have a different size. But both the pump have a possibility of the same shape. Okay, that is known as the geometrically similar pump. And both the pump will deliver one meter cube of liquid. Means discharge from the pump is one meter cube of liquid per second, and the head is one meter for a both the pump. That is a small pump that is possible to hold in our hand, and the one pump that is a larger as our room. Both have a required to deliver one meter head. And the discharge is one meter cube, so both the pump is required the same speed. It is known as the specific speed of a centrifugal pump. The mathematically, specific speed of centrifugal pump it is denoted as the Ns and is given by Ns is equal to n under root of q divided by h raised to three by four. So where n means normal speed of the pump in RPM, q is equal to flow rate of liquid meter cube per second. And the HM is the manometric head in meter, and this NS means specific speed. So next we derive the equation of specific speed. Before that, I request to subscribe my channels for watching more video by pressing subscribe buttons and also press the bell icon to get continuous notifications. And if you learn from this video, then not forget to like this video and comment on the video. The flow through impeller discharge is given by. So this equation of the specific speed is derived from the Q. Why it is derived from the Q? Because the function of the pump is to deliver some quantity of this liquid. So Q is the main important factor. That is a Q, and the Q is equal to area into velocity. So area of the pump that is a pi into d1 into v1. Okay, that is the area, and velocity is considered as the vf1. And this Q is also equal to Pi d2 into v2 into vf2 means this is at the inlet and this is at the outlet. D means diameter, d means width, and vf means velocity of the flow. One is indicate inlet and two is indicate the outlet. Now this equation is further modified means equal to is replaced by directly proportional. So q is directly proportional to d into v into vf. So that quantity is same at the inlet and outlet. Just we change so removing the one and two. Okay, and then we Putting these directly proportionals at that time, pi is removed from the equation. Means constant parameter is removed from the equation. So pi is constant, so we remove the pi. So q is equal to diameter into width into vf, and this width b is also depend on the diameter. So b is replaced by the d. So d into d it is written as the d square. Okay, so q is proportional to d square into vf, and we given the equation number one. Now this is our main equations. Now in these equations, we are putting the value of the d in another term, and also putting the value of velocity of flow in another terms. Okay. So first we find out the equation for the d. Then after we find out the, the equation for the vf, and this answer is putting in this equation. Then after we finding the equation of specific speed. So we know that tangential speed of the impeller is given by u is equal to pi d n by 60. Okay, in this equation, pi is constant, 60 is constant, so we remove it. So u is proportional to diameter, and the RPM means speed of the pump, and this is written as the equation number two. The equation of the u is also written in another form. That's equation is u is equal to ku under root of 2g h. In this equation, ku is constant, 2 is constant, and g is constant. So u is proportional to under root of Manometric head H M, and this is the equation number three. Now, from these two equations, what we return in the equation number two, we putting the value of u. 
So value of u is under root of h m. So from equation two and three, we get that d n is proportional to under root of manometric head h m. In equation number two, we putting the value of u. Okay. So we able to write these equations. Now we need to put the value of d in equation number one. So this equation is convert in the form of diameter d only. So d is proportional to under root of h f upon n. The n on the left side is coming into the right side in a divide component, and this is the equation number four. So this is the final equation for the d. Now again we require the velocity of flow. So v f we know that v f is also depend on the under root of h. How it is depend? Let's see. So v f is equal to k f under root of two g. H m H m is manometric head. In this equation, K f is constant means coefficient of flow. Two is constant and G is constant. Okay, so these are removed. So V f is directly proportional to under root of H m. This is the our equation number five. Now, this value of D and the V f means value of equation four and five is putting in equation number one. That is, Q is proportional to D square into V f. So in this equation, we putting this value, then we get this equation. Q is directly proportional to value of D is under root of H M upon N and D square, so it is a whole raised to square into velocity of flow. Velocity of flow is under root of H M, so it is written as under root of H M. Now we open this bracket, so this under root of H M is converted into the H M, okay, and this N is converted into this N square. Now in upper part that is a H M into under root of H M, okay, that is a two part in multiplications. Then what happened? That is the summation of the power is takes place. So here power of H M is one, and here power of H M is one by two. So one plus one by two is equal to three by two. So Q is proportional to H M raised to three by two upon n square. Okay. So this is our equation of the Q. Then we convert this equation in the form of n. So n is going on this left side, and Q is coming on the right side. Okay. So n square is proportional to h m raised to three by two upon q. Now we convert this equation in a form of n. So here that is the n square. So what we need to do, we are required to do the under root on the both the side, left and right sides. Okay. So we are doing the under root of n square. So it is converted into the m. And when we doing the under root of h m raised to three by two, so here its power is squaring. That is a three by two plus one by two. So it is a three by four. And under root of q, so it is simply written as under root of q. Then after this directly proportionality is removed from this equation. So how it is convert? So when we removing the directly proportional in equality, at that time we are required to add one constant. So here we are adding the constant c, and this is our equation number six. Okay. Now again here we are need to recall the definition. The speed for a one meter cube of head and a one meter cube per second of flow rate. In this equation, instead of H M, we are putting the one. Instead of the Q, we are putting the one. Then what we get answer? Answer is the C is equal to N. So where Q is equal to one meter cube per second, H M is equal to one meter. Okay. So what we getting? The C is equal to N. C is equal to N, and which is known as specific speed. Means this N is known known as the N S. So instead of the C, we putting the N S in equation number six. So instead of this C. We are putting the n s specific speed, and then we get this equation. N is equal to n s into h m raised to three by four divided by q. And what we finding out specific speed. So we writing this equation in the form of n s. So n s on the right side. So another parameter is going on the left side. So n into under root of q divided by h m raised to three by four. So n s is equal to n under root of q. Divided by h m raised to three by four. So this equation is known as the specific speed of a centrifugal pump. So it is similar like as the specific speed of the turbine. In a turbine, specific speed n s is equal to n under root of p divided by h raised to five by four. So in a equation of the turbine, that is a p is coming. Why p is coming? Because turbine is used to generate the power. So in a equation of the turbine, that is under root of p is coming. Okay. And in a pump, pump is used to deliver the water. So in a equation of the pump, Q is coming. And in a turbine, the power of H is five by four. In a pump, power of H is three by four. Next, we study the significance. Before that, I request to like the video 
and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. The specific speed for all the geometric similar pump is same, means the pump have a same shape but of the different size have a same specific speed. Second point that the specific speed related to geometrical shape rather than the size. So specific speed is only depend on the shape not on the size of the pump. All the pump of the same shape have the same specific speed. And the specific speed for a different type of the pump are as follow. Means on this one first column that is a type of pump and on the second column that is a specific speed. Means pump with the slow speed radial flow specific speed is 10 to 30. Medium speed radial flow pump specific speed is 31 to 50. High speed radial flow specific speed is 51 to 80. Mix flow pump 81 to 160. Axial flow pump 160 to 150. Thank you for watching this video. If you learn, then like the video, subscribe the channels and share with your friends.